All right, Isaiah. Thank you. When you come back, let me know. When you come back, say I'm back. When you come back, say I'm back. That that amber alert knocked everything out. When you back, say I'm back. I see you, the author. When you back, say I'm back. I see you, Kiana. I see you, Renee. When you back, say I'm back. When you back, say I'm back. Good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Wendy, I see you back. When you're back, say I'm back. Yeah, that Amber Alert knocked it out. So I saw a lot of people keep falling off. All right, let's go. So the children, the, these young men, they were saying, we know the God that we serve. Thank you, Wendy. They said, we know the God that we serve. He will deliver us. Thank you, Mona Lisa. When you're back, say you're back. When you're back, say I'm back. Thank you, Yvette. When you're back, say I'm back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When you're back, say I'm back. Good. Thank you, Mona Lisa. All right, let's go, and we'll let the others catch up to us. Okay, notice what they said in verse 17. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. In other words, we do not need God to respond in order to know who he is. Write that down. We do not need God to respond in order to know who he is. If he responds, good. But if he doesn't, that's okay. If he delivers us, we still know he's God. If he doesn't deliver us, we still know he's God. Whatever he chooses to do, we are okay with it. But let it be known, okay? No matter what he does, we will not serve your God. If he does not deliver us, that does not mean that he cannot. That means he chooses not to do it. But it's not going to make us turn from our God. We are not going to worship your God. My God, we're going to stick with our God because our God is able and he will. Our God is able and he will. Thank you for coming back, Sharon. Thank you for coming back. Write this down, please. Write down these two words, acts, A-C-T-S, and ways. Come on. Write these two words down, acts in ways. Thank you, Mona Lisa. Most people know his acts. Very few people know God's ways. Thank you, Renee. Thank you for coming back, Felicia. Most people know God's acts. Felicia, Renee, Wendy. But very few people know his ways. Come on, somebody say, Lord, teach me your ways. Come on, say, Lord, teach me your ways. Come on, Lord, teach me your ways. Good, there you go. Lord, teach me your ways. 
The Bible said he revealed his acts to the children. Psalms 103 and 7. Write this down. Psalms 103 and 7. That's a good scripture to know. Psalms 103 and 7. He made known his ways to Moses and his acts to the people of Israel. Israel knew his acts, but Moses knew his ways. My God, come on. Somebody say there is a difference. I want you to know there's a difference, Sharon, between knowing his acts and knowing his ways. There is a difference, Renee. There is a difference, Felicia, between knowing his acts and knowing his ways. Mona Lisa, there is a difference. There is a difference, Shireen. I want to know his ways. And the Hebrew boys knew his ways. Therefore, they did not need him to act. Wendy, when you know God's ways, he doesn't have to act. Good God Almighty. When you know his ways, Felicia, he doesn't have to act. God doesn't have to act to prove who he is when you know his ways. And many times you want God to act. You want God to respond. And the fact that you need him to respond is proof you don't know his ways. Hear me again. The fact that you need God to respond is proof you don't know his ways. Because when you know his ways, I don't need him to act because he's God all by himself. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for those bombs. That was a bomb. That was a bomb right there. When you know his ways, you don't need him to act. But because you don't know his ways, you always need him to do something. Lord, do this. Lord, do that. Lord, bring me out of this. Lord, I need this. Lord, I need that. But when you know his ways, you say, I'm okay. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming back, glory. When you know his acts, when you know his ways, you don't need him to act. And the Hebrew boys knew his ways. Psalms 103, verse 7. He made known unto Moses his ways. And to the children of Israel, his deeds. Okay? His ways deals with his character. Write that down. His ways deal with his character. We're going to stop there today. His ways deal with his character, glory. When you know his ways, you know his character. Lord have mercy. It's easy, Renair, to trust someone that you know their character. It's easy to love somebody that you know their character. His ways deal with his character. His acts deal with his deeds. Lord have mercy. My God, I love you. This is powerful. We're going we're gonna to stop there. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring it on tomorrow by the Holy Ghost. Come on. If you are blessed today, yeah, this is powerful. When you know his acts, you always need him to do something. But when you know his ways, Felicia, you rest in him. You rest in him. Why? Because you know his character. And you know that if God allows me to say this, he's up to something. My God. See, when you are mature, my God, you know. Thank you by the Holy Ghost. Renair, when you are mature, you know that it's a blessing both ways. Write that down. It's a blessing both ways. Come on. Write that down. I don't want to go into it. I, I want to save it for tomorrow because, Lord, I feel like running. Good God Almighty. It is a blessing both ways. It's a blessing both ways, Wendy. It's a blessing both ways, Kiana. It's a blessing both ways, Mona Lisa. It's a blessing both ways, Lenore. It's a blessing both ways, Sharon. What do you mean? 
It's a blessing both ways, D. Arthur. What do you mean? Because if God says yes, it's a blessing. If God says no, it's a blessing. If God says come in, it's a blessing. If God says stay out, it's a blessing. If God does something, it's a blessing. If God does nothing, it's a blessing. Because the God that you serve is intentional. Come on. God is intentional. Glory, God is intentional. So if he doesn't do anything, he has done something. Because he is intentional about doing nothing. The God that you serve is an intentional God. He doesn't just do something to be doing it. My God, he is intentional. Hallelujah. Thank you, Renee. I got to go. I got to go. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Lord, have mercy. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, we thank you for such an outpouring of your spirit this morning. We thank you for such an outpouring of your spirit. We don't take it lightly that you have spoken to us this morning. We don't take it lightly that you have revealed your word to us. We acknowledge your presence this morning. Shalom to each one of you. Remember, do something today to increase your value. Number two, keep seed in the ground. Number three, keep a joyful attitude. Number four, walk in righteousness. Number five, awake to righteousness. Number six, expect divine intervention. Number seven, be fruitful. Number eight, multiply. Number nine, replenish. Number 10, subdue. Number 11, stay connected. Number 12, I needed today's teaching. Good. Number 12, submit to God's development. Number 12, submit to God's development. Number 13, once you submit, there'll be less to be delivered from. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Well, blessings to you all. Once again, before we go, we always give you an opportunity if you want to, if you choose to give, Go to our website, go to the Cash App. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, then so accordingly. God bless you. Also, remember our graduates. Remember our graduates. Okay, we have four graduates that we want to be a blessing to. As of right now, we've only had maybe four people who have given toward our graduates. And I know there'll be more. But I want to remind you, I want to remind you about our graduates we have until the end of uh, July, and then we will be being a blessing to our graduates. So please, ma'am, please, sir, help me uh, to be a blessing to our grad. Thank you, Tara, for returning. So let's remember our graduates, okay, uh, by the end of this month. What is today, the 13th? Okay, so that means what we have 17, 18 more days. 18 more days to be a blessing to our graduates, okay? So blessings to each one of you. Does anybody need special prayer before we go? Anybody need special prayer? I don't know about you, but I was blessed through this lesson today. If you were blessed, just put in there blessed. If you were encouraged, put in courage. If you were equipped, put equipped. Come on, tap that screen. If you were blessed this morning by the broadcast. God poured out his spirit today. My God, hallelujah. I was, I was, I believe Tara said it. I was super blessed. I was super blessed through the word today. Thank you, Mona Lisa. Thank you, Glory. Above, all the above. <laughs> Thank you. I have to see a cardiologist tomorrow. Father, we pray for Renee. And we pray that you are doing a work on her even now. Touch her heart, Father. You created her body. You created that heart. And we thank you. We command her body to line up with your word. And we pray that the doctor will confirm, Father, what you have done in her body. And Father, we will lift her up tomorrow again. But we thank you now. And we speak strength. And we speak wholeness and health over her now. In Jesus' name, 
We speak Isaiah 58 and 8. Her health shall spring forth speedily. Pray, for, have a meeting with the boy. She said she had some things important to tell me. Father, we thank you that you have gone before glory. We thank you, Father, that whatever will be said by her boss will be a blessing to her. We thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We thank you that glory has favor with you and with man. So we thank you now for the spirit of promotion being upon her. In Jesus' name, amen. Good. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else desire any prayer? All right. Well, have a fruitful day today. Have a productive day today. We love you. We honor you. We value you. You are a part of the kingdom of God. And because you are a kingdom citizen, the king is responsible for your welfare and well-being. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Don't you be discouraged. Don't you worry. Don't you doubt. The king is responsible for your welfare and your well-being. Take no thought what you shall eat. Take no thought what you shall wear. Take no thought for any of those things because your heavenly father already knows what you have need of. Rest in him today. Receive his peace today. Let his peace guard your heart and mind. God has commanded this day to bless you. The Bible said he daily loads you with benefits. Receive every benefit today. All right, we love you all. God bless you.